Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastely Frugal, and today I'm really excited to share with you how to use the engraving tip from Cricut with the Cricut Maker. When the new uh, Maker Tools got launched last year, I was so excited, as I'm sure the rest of you were too, to hear there was going to be an engraving tool that we could use with the Cricut Maker. I have been creating key change, um, key chains, different signs and things like that uh, for my kids, but I figured it was finally time that I shared how I've been using the engraving tip. So it is a very easy tool to use, and it, um, in my opinion, is the easiest maker tool to use. Uh, you can create quick and easy projects. You can do signs like this. You can engrave on acrylic keychains. You can engrave on metal. I've linked in the description to this video a post all about the engraving tool that gives you more details on how to use it as well as what materials you can use it on. But today we're going to be using these two millimeter um, acrylic blanks from 143 Vinyl. They have a ton of different sizes and designs available as well as you can get these light bases. They have uh, two or three different designs of light bases that you can use as well. We use this um, in my daughter's room as a nightlight, so these are really fun for nightlights. You can also use them for holiday decorations as well. So let's go ahead and first hop into Design Space so I can show you what you need to do to have your project set up to be engraved, and then we'll start the engraving process. All right, the first thing we need to do is add our images that we want to engrave. So I'm going to click the image tab and then I'm going to search by image sets. And in the search bar, I'm going to type in Disney Frozen. There are actually quite a few Disney Frozen cartridges available and images, but we are going to just start with the first one. Now you'll see here that there's different types of images. There's some that are just like drawn out that are like sketches and there's full color pictures. The sketches work really good with any draw tool, including the engraving tip, but there are also some of the full color ones like the Sisters Forever design right here that work great with the engraving tip too. So we have our two images. We're going to click insert. And then once we have them on our canvas, we are just going to move them so that we can work with each layer on its own. So you see here that the Anna and Elsa are set to draw and the Sisters Forever are set to cut. We need to change both of those to engrave. So we're going up to the line type and then changing the Anna and Elsa from draw to engrave and then the Sisters Forever from cut to engrave. Once we have them both set to engrave, we will go ahead and move them over and size that Sisters Forever down a little bit so that it uh, lines up with the Sisters uh, drawing. Now you'll notice here that the bottom part of Elsa's ponytail kind of goes over the design. We don't want that to happen. So let me show you how to remove part of a design without having to change the whole design. We're going to use a contour tool, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, because there are so many lines on this design, it takes a minute for it to load. But once you have your design loaded, you can click each individual line in a design and choose whether you want to keep it um, or if you want to um, remove it. So we're going to zoom in so I can make sure that I get every little part of her ponytail. Um, let's get down there. Okay, so here we are with the ponytail and I'm just going to, you just click with your mouse. Um, if you uh, are using touchpad, you can obviously click with your finger and then just remove all those lines with the ponytail. So you'll see the rest of the design is like a dark gray and that part is light gray. So that part is now removed. So once you've got everything removed, just go click the X and you'll see in your design on the canvas that that bottom part is removed. So we'll now just move um, the sisters forever up a little bit higher and then we'll select both layers and go up to a line and then align center so that they are centered together. And then we'll change the height to six inches. I measured the acrylic uh, blank that we're using and that was the best size for that. And then of course we'll attach both of them together so that it's cut just how we see it. Let's go to make it. Now to make sure that our design is lined up, I like to line up my acrylic blank as well as the design on the mat. Um, and an easy to measure place. So I do on this one, we're going to do the two, the two inch mark on both the vertical and horizontal. So that's where it will be lined up on the physical mat. And that's where this design is lined up. Once our maker is connected, you'll see here that it has it set to engrave. And you'll notice that not all the materials are given an option to pick. You cannot use the engraving tip with all materials. 
Um, if you click browse materials here, it will give you the list of all the materials that you can use the engraving tip with. And acrylic is down at the very bottom. The ones that we're going to use today are the two millimeter thick. And then it'll tell you what you need to do. So we, um, on your machine. So we don't need anything in the A clamp. The 41 or engraving tip is what's in the B clamp. Um, so let's go ahead and head over. Let me show you how to uh, put your acrylic blank on your mat. First things first, take the plastic backing off. I made that mistake the first time I used acrylic and it didn't cut all the way through. Um, you'll also want to use a strong grip mat. And even though it's a strong grip mat, mat because of the thickness of the material, you'll want to use painter's tape to tape it down on the mat too, just to give it that extra little bit of um, protection so that it doesn't move during the engraving process. Engraving is a fairly quick uh, process versus like the knife blade, um, but this just gives you a little bit of added protection. Then once you have it taped down, you'll want to uh, load it into your Cricut Maker. So you'll take out your fine point blade or whatever blade you have in your B clamp and then put that 41 uh, tip and housing in the B clamp. Also notice those star rollers, they need to be all the way over to the right um, when you're using the engraving tip because they can leave indents in your acrylic or whatever you're engraving. Once you click the flashing C button to go, you'll notice that the tool will go all the way over to the right and it's just doing that to make sure that you actually have the engraving tip in there and then it will start um, the engraving process. Like I said, the engraving process isn't super long. Obviously, if you have an intricate design, it takes longer, but it is one of the quicker um, tools to use. Now you'll see here as we zoom in a little bit more, there are some acrylic shavings that get on the rollers as well as on the mat. That is completely okay. For the rollers, you can just, when you're done, when your project's done and the mat's unloaded, you can clean the rollers off, like just dust it off. Or if you have WD-40, you can um, use that just to blow the acrylic shavings off. If you have acrylic shavings on your cutting mat, they are not going to affect the stickiness, so it is completely okay. Once your design is done, remove the painter's tape, and then, like I do with any material, I like to remove the mat from the blank. So instead of pulling that acrylic blank off the mat, I will turn it over and pull the mat off the acrylic blank. But here you can get a better idea of um, the design. Let me wipe it clean. You can see it a little bit better here. Um, but then, like I said, just turn your mat over and pull the acrylic blank off of your mat. And you can see that Sisters Forever design. So as you can see, creating custom designs with your engraving tool and your Cricut Maker is a super quick and easy project that any crafter can do. I have linked the design space file for this Sisters Forever design in the description of this video, as well as a full blog post with more information on using the engraving tool. I've also linked all of the tools and materials that we used in today's video in the description of the video as well. So if you have any questions I didn't answer, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, I'd love to have you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. Have a great day.